Egzamin maturalny z języka angielskiego. Poziom podstawowy. Usłyszysz dwukrotnie teksty do zadań od pierwszego do trzeciego. Przed wysłuchaniem każdego tekstu usłyszysz dźwięk. W nagraniu przewidziane są przerwy na zapoznanie się z poleceniami oraz treścią zadań sygnalizowane dźwiękiem. Rozwiązuj poszczególne zadania w trakcie słuchania nagrań oraz w czasie przerw po ich wysłuchaniu. Zadanie pierwsze. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. Hello, today I'm talking to Zoe Smith, who has started her own business. It's a clothes library. Zoe, can you explain what a clothes library is? Well, it's a place where people can borrow good quality second-hand clothes for a fee. The only thing borrowers have to do is to return the clothes undamaged. Or if an item is damaged, then there is an extra fee for it to be repaired. Apart from that, we do everything. We clean and iron each item so that the next person can borrow and use it. How did you get the idea of starting a clothes library? I first thought of it at my sister's wedding reception. I was giving my speech and wanted to make people laugh, so I said something like, What I miss most about the time when my sister and I still lived at home is definitely her wardrobe. When I said those words, I suddenly realised that they were true. I used to borrow a lot of clothes from her. After she moved out, I was left with just my own boring old clothes and nothing cool to wear. But apart from that personal aspect, there was another even more important reason why I opened my clothes library. What was that? Every year, millions of tons of clothes worldwide are just thrown away. Really? Millions of tons? Are you sure you're right? I am, unfortunately. A lot of clothes are badly made, so it's not worth reselling them, and they end up in the dustbin. Apart from that, many people want to continually change their look and be fashionable, so they keep on buying new clothes and then throw them away. They do this over and over again, but some people can't or don't want to spend a lot of money on clothes. A clothes library makes this possible and without the waste. I see. So clothes libraries offer people a variety of clothes they want at a lower cost, without creating huge amounts of rubbish and pollution. Yes, borrowing clothes saves you money, and that means my business is very attractive to people. But what I care about most is helping the environment. I strongly believe that even the smallest step we take towards a cleaner earth is well worth the effort. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Hello, today I'm talking to Zoe Smith, who has started her own business. It's a clothes library. Zoe, can you explain what a clothes library is? Well, it's a place where people can borrow good quality second-hand clothes for a fee. The only thing borrowers have to do is to return the clothes undamaged. Or if an item is damaged, then there is an extra fee for it to be repaired. Apart from that, we do everything. We clean and iron each item so that the next person can borrow and use it. How did you get the idea of starting a clothes library? I first thought of it at my sister's wedding reception. I was giving my speech and wanted to make people laugh, so I said something like, What I miss most about the time when my sister and I still lived at home is definitely her wardrobe. When I said those words, I suddenly realised that they were true. I used to borrow a lot of clothes from her. After she moved out, I was left with just my own boring old clothes and nothing cool to wear. 
But apart from that personal aspect, there was another even more important reason why I opened my clothes library. What was that? Every year, millions of tons of clothes worldwide are just thrown away. Really? Millions of tons? Are you sure you're right? I am, unfortunately. A lot of clothes are badly made, so it's not worth reselling them. And they end up in the dustbin. Apart from that, many people want to continually change their look and be fashionable. So they keep on buying new clothes and then throw them away. They do this over and over again. But some people can't or don't want to spend a lot of money on clothes. A clothes library makes this possible and without the waste. I see. So clothes libraries offer people a variety of clothes they want at a lower cost without creating huge amounts of rubbish and pollution. Yes, borrowing clothes saves you money, and that means my business is very attractive to people. But what I care about most is helping the environment. I strongly believe that even the smallest step we take towards a cleaner earth is well worth the effort. Zadanie drugie. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. One. There are two colours in your school uniforms, blue and white. Today, as you start at this school, I want to tell you about the special meaning behind the choice of these colours. Blue stands for loyalty and responsibility, while white represents peace and non-violence. I hope that your uniforms will always remind you of these qualities. I'm glad that you have chosen our school. Be proud of your uniform and what it represents, and have a fantastic time here. Two. When you're near Paris, make sure you visit Claude Monet's house and gardens in the small village of Giverny. This well-known French artist created many of his masterpieces there. Many people share the opinion that the artist's home is unforgettable because of its colours. It has bright pink outside walls and intense blues, greens and yellows inside. These were all chosen by Monet to reflect the colours which he used in his paintings. Why not experience the magic of Monet for yourself? Three. Have you ever wondered how rainbows are formed? Do you know how colours affect our mood? What are the results of mixing colours? Do you want to find out the answers to these questions? Just sign up for our light and colour workshops at the Science Centre. You will use different coloured lasers to discover the effects of mixing colours. You'll also have the opportunity to create your very own light show. The two-hour workshops will be held every Saturday evening in July, and they are free of charge. Four. So, as you can see, there are three small bottles standing in front of you. Each of them has a different colour of paint inside, red, yellow and blue. These are called primary colours. All other colours can be made out of these three. For today's task, you'll be mixing colours. I'd like you to use the sheet of paper I've put on your desk. Now pick up your paintbrushes and start creating your own colours. Five. Hi. I'm in the shop right now, choosing the paint for my dining room. I'd like it to look warm, but bright at the same time. So I thought about orange or yellow, perhaps. But the shop assistant has suggested green. He says it will make the room look bigger. 
I can't make up my mind. What would you choose? I'll send you some photos of the colours in a minute. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. One. There are two colors in your school uniforms, blue and white. Today, as you start at this school, I want to tell you about the special meaning behind the choice of these colors. Blue stands for loyalty and responsibility, while white represents peace and non-violence. I hope that your uniforms will always remind you of these qualities. I am glad that you have chosen our school. Be proud of your uniform and what it represents, and have a fantastic time here. Two. When you're near Paris, make sure you visit Claude Monet's house and gardens in the small village of Giverny. This well-known French artist created many of his masterpieces there. Many people share the opinion that the artist's home is unforgettable because of its colors. It has bright pink outside walls and intense blues, greens, and yellows inside. These were all chosen by Monet to reflect the colors which he used in his paintings. Why not experience the magic of Monet for yourself? Three. Have you ever wondered how rainbows are formed? Do you know how colors affect our mood? What are the results of mixing colors? Do you want to find out the answers to these questions? Just sign up for our light and color workshops at the Science Center. You will use different colored lasers to discover the effects of mixing colors. You'll also have the opportunity to create your very own light show. The two-hour workshops will be held every Saturday evening in July. And they are free of charge. Four. So, as you can see, there are three small bottles standing in front of you. Each of them has a different color of paint inside: red, yellow, and blue. These are called primary colors. All other colors can be made out of these three. For today's task. You'll be mixing colors. I'd like you to use the sheet of paper I've put on your desk. Now pick up your paintbrushes and start creating your own colors. Five. Hi. I'm in the shop right now, choosing the paint for my dining room. I'd like it to look warm but bright at the same time. So I thought about orange or yellow, perhaps, but the shop assistant has suggested green. He says it will make the room look bigger. I can't make up my mind. What would you choose? I'll send you some photos of the colors in a minute. Zadanie trzecie. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. Text one. Hello, we are a host family for the student exchange program. Currently, we're hosting Danny, a seventeen-year-old student from Vietnam. I want to tell you that I've noticed some really great characteristics he has that I and the rest of my family really admire. First of all, he is extremely polite 
and says please and thank you a lot. And he doesn't wait for us to ask him to do things. He volunteers with a smile. He waits for everyone to be seated at the dinner table before beginning to eat. He opens and closes the car door for me. Yes, these are little things, but many of us have forgotten how important they are. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Hello, we are a host family for the Student Exchange Program. Currently we're hosting Danny, a 17-year-old student from Vietnam. I want to tell you that I've noticed some really great characteristics he has that I and the rest of my family really admire. First of all, he is extremely polite and says please and thank you a lot. And he doesn't wait for us to ask him to do things. He volunteers with a smile. He waits for everyone to be seated at the dinner table before beginning to eat. He opens and closes the car door for me. Yes, these are little things, but many of us have forgotten how important they are. Text 2 Located at one of the world's most well-known addresses, the Sherlock Holmes Museum presents the world of London's iconic detective. The rooms have been furnished to show visitors the life and work of the brilliant literary hero. While there, you can almost feel his presence. Unlike in many other museums, you are allowed to touch the exhibits, including the detective's desk and couch. You are also welcome to take photos, including selfies, so that you will always remember your visit. Filming, however, is not permitted anywhere inside the building. In the museum shop, you will find the biggest collection of Sherlock-related gifts and postcards in the world. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Located at one of the world's most well-known addresses, the Sherlock Holmes Museum presents the world of London's iconic detective. The rooms have been furnished to show visitors the life and work of the brilliant literary hero. While there, you can almost feel his presence. Unlike in many other museums, you are allowed to touch the exhibits, including the detective's desk and couch. You are also welcome to take photos, including selfies, so that you will always remember your visit. Filming, however, is not permitted anywhere inside the building. In the museum shop, you will find the biggest collection of Sherlock-related gifts and postcards in the world. Text 3 Hi, John. I'm just calling to tell you that my son, Timmy, had a minor accident at school this morning. He's at the hospital now. He's fine, but a family member needs to pick him up and my husband is away, so I'm going to do it. The report for this afternoon's meeting is on my desk. Could you read it through to check if it's OK and then send it to the boss? Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Hi, John. I'm just calling to tell you that my son, Timmy, had a minor accident at school this morning. He's at the hospital now. He's fine, but a family member needs to pick him up and my husband is away, so I'm going to do it. The report for this afternoon's meeting is on my desk. Could you read it through to check if it's OK and then send it to the boss? Text 4 are you going to try to get a part-time job this summer, Meg? Why are you asking? Because it would be nice to work together. Hmm. I've done babysitting during the summer holidays for a few years now, and I'm planning to do the same again this summer. Do you want to try it as well? Oh, I can't look after kids. Besides, most parents prefer girls as babysitters. But I've got a great idea for what we could do. My neighbour needs some help in his bookshop during the summer. Why don't we try it? Oh, I don't know enough about publishing to be able to advise customers. Nor do I. 
I hadn't thought about that. So perhaps we could work at the animal shelter. I worked there last summer as a dog walker, and it was a cool job. You know what? I've got a good idea. I'll do babysitting at the weekends and work at the shelter with you two or three times a week on weekdays. That will be excellent. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Are you going to try to get a part-time job this summer, Meg? Why are you asking? Because it would be nice to work together. Hmm. I've done babysitting during the summer holidays for a few years now, and I'm planning to do the same again this summer. Do you want to try it as well? Oh, I can't look after kids. Besides, most parents prefer girls as babysitters. But I've got a great idea for what we could do. My neighbour needs some help in his bookshop during the summer. Why don't we try it? Oh, I don't know enough about publishing to be able to advise customers. Nor do I. I hadn't thought about that. So perhaps we could work at the animal shelter. I worked there last summer as a dog walker, and it was a cool job. You know what? I've got a good idea. I'll do babysitting at the weekends and work at the shelter with you two or three times a week on weekdays. That will be excellent. Text 5 A conservation centre, which is located about 30 miles north of Jacksonville, Florida, has welcomed the first group of retired Asian circus elephants to their new home. The group is made up of 12 female elephants, aged between 8 and 38. It wasn't possible to let them live in the wild, because they lacked the skills necessary to survive there. Their parents were circus animals, and they have only known circus life. Another group, made up of 20 elephants, will be transported to the centre as soon as their living areas have been prepared. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. A conservation center, which is located about 30 miles north of Jacksonville, Florida, has welcomed the first group of retired Asian circus elephants to their new home. The group is made up of 12 female elephants, aged between 8 and 38. It wasn't possible to let them live in the wild, because they lacked the skills necessary to survive there. Their parents were circus animals, and they have only known circus life. Another group, made up of 20 elephants, will be transported to the centre as soon as their living areas have been prepared. Czas przeznaczony na tę część egzaminu minął.